Hello there and welcome back to this new video. Today we have a little bit of a special video. We'll be looking at a tool uh, that has received little uh, publicity, but that is very interesting and some can be even using it for free. Uh, we'll be talking about WordFast server and what is it and what it does and so i'll be doing a little video series on this so stay tuned to to enjoy and learn about it now it is very interesting because with wordfast server you can do a wide number of things and if you are for example a freelancer you can use it for free for up to three simultaneous connections so that is really worth looking at it and it is not really as complicated as it seems. Uh, to give you an idea, many people are using that kind of technology without even knowing it. For example, if you are a WordFast Anywhere user, well, WordFast Server is actually the technology behind uh, WordFast Anywhere. So that allows you to leverage your TMs and glossaries. Now, WordFast Server, it does allow you to access your TMs, your glossaries from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. Now, this is a really powerful and useful tool. If you are a translator and you collaborate with other translators, well, that's really something you should be looking at. If you have a, a small business a translation company, well, you should be looking at it. If you have a big translation company, you should be looking at it. Uh, if you are a university, you should be looking at it. If you are a group, bunch of students that are leaving university, have very small TMs, you should be looking at it. It really has a way of opening a wide number of uh, possibilities and helping you to build up uh, your TM and glossary quality fast and very reliably and doing it so without using third-party online uh, storage for your data. So you can be the master of your own data and that is really a key point as well. So what we'll be doing in this video, that will be the first of the series, we'll be looking at the working principle. Uh, basically what it does enable you to do, what you can get from it. Uh, and we'll be looking at different practical work scenarios, workflow scenarios to explain what it does uh, allow you to do. And in the coming videos, we'll be looking at how to set it up and uh, how to overcome some setting up uh, challenges that you may face. And stay tuned because at the end of the series, you will be able to get a discount code from my channel. So make sure uh, you stay tuned until the end. And if you are a university, well, stay tuned in this video because you are entitled to a strong discount on it. So shall we get started? Let's go. Now let's look at a few facts. WordFast Server is a program that you install on a Windows computer. This program will help you to store and manage your TMs and glossaries. You will then be able to access these TMs and glossaries from any WordFast CAD tool in real time. So in effect, this will create a TM and glossary server on the computer on which you have installed WordFast Server. Now, this is a far superior option to many other cloud-based solutions out there because it will be difficult to make this tool reach its limits. Just look at it. You can have above 70,000 TMs and another 70,000 glossaries if you like. Uh, the theoretical limit for one given TM is 140 TOs, and that is if your computer is able to handle this. Now, the noun max size for a TM that has been reached at the moment, and you can go above that, is 7.2 gigs. So that is 23 million TUs. So you can use it as much as you like. Uh, it will never fail you. And uh, it has a lightning fast response time. So uh, let's look at a practical situation. So in this example, we are looking at 
uh, an agency, a translation agency situation. So you have your project manager that uh, stores and manages TMs and glossaries in uh, the computer where WordFast server program is installed. And the result is that uh, as translator one is translating, he can leverage what's in the TMs and glossaries and if we want, his work can be added there also so that as translator 2 is translating, he can also be reading what translator 1 uh, is adding to the TMs and glossaries and uh, leveraging it. And he can also be adding to it. So you can have, for example, in this example, three translators accessing and writing in the same uh, TMs and glossaries at the same time, which is amazing. So that can help uh, good work, good consistency be done in real time and real fast with real quality. And uh, in this example, I've put there uh, three translators, but depending on the package you are purchasing, you can add virtually as many uh, translators as uh, you wish. Now, this setup can also be very useful uh, for, uh, say, a big multinational company that does in-house translations. Now, the IT team could be babysitting WordFast server and uh, having all uh, the terminology set up there. And uh, then uh, the TMs and glossaries being kept in one place, they can be leveraged by translators anywhere in the world and that can be done all simultaneously as we said. Now here is another context where this could also be extremely useful. Uh, that's for universities. Now there again uh, WordFast server can be set up by the IT team if they want and uh, for example in this example a teacher can access and handle terminology and all students can leverage and feed TMs and glossaries. So that can really be a powerful teaching tool. This also allows that next year students, they will benefit from the work that previous year's students did. And this also open a unique opportunity uh, to grow corpus for language pairs, uh, especially those that have been least translated. So universities can really here benefit from that and they can get a whopping 50% off. Not bad at all. Now, let's now talk about, say, a group that uh, of students that are freshly graduated and they now get into uh, translating and they are on the translation market. So one of their bigger challenges is that their TMs and glossaries are still very tiny. Now, if three students use WordFast server together, they can join forces and get up to speed faster by building their translation resources together. And remember that for up to three simultaneous connections used by freelancers, WordFast server is for free. You can use it in demo mode with no limits on its capacity whatsoever. You're just limited to three simultaneous connections. So now that we have looked at practical use cases, what we will do now is we'll explain the principles of how it works as regards to the sharing. If we come back to our agency setting, someone, in this case, the project manager will have to set up the TMs and glossaries and get a special line to copy paste and hand out to others. It's called the API key. In turn, the API key is given to tr the translator that will connect to the server. Then the translators can use this API key and they will add it to their WordFast CAD tools. And then the TMs and glossaries in WordFast server will immediately be available to them from their CAD tool. So then they will be able to read and write from these TMs and glossaries just the same as if they existed on their own computer. And this works well with WordFast Pro 5, WordFast Pro 3, WordFast Classic and WordFast Anywhere. So you can connect uh, whatever is on your WordFast server to any of these WordFast suite uh, CAD tools. 
Now, in theory, uh, WordFast Server has been made in a way that uh, it can be also leveraged and accessed from third-party CAD tools. Now, at the moment of uh, making this video, to my knowledge, only MemoQ has a working plugin uh, for accessing WordFast Server at the moment. So now, we just have to get busy with setting it up. And this is what we will be doing in the following videos in that series. So in these upcoming videos, we will be looking at things you may need to do to set it up uh, to work according to your situation and your workflow. So that, these are the things uh, that we will be looking at. So make sure you stay tuned and you subscribe to this channel. Why? Well, because we will be looking at that so you don't miss videos and at the end, as I said, you will be able to get your discount code. So if you want to subscribe, right here. And if you want to watch another video from my channel, click right here. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care.